So I'm going to talk about the HTTP archive. A couple of the speakers um, have mentioned this already and used the data, and that's actually the goal, is to collect a bunch of data. A lot of it is very relevant and useful for performance, but you can use it for uh, other things. And um, to just put the data out there, all the code is open source, all the data is open source, and let uh, scientists, performance engineers use the data to do their own studies that they're interested in. But um, in addition to gathering the data, I also have some uh, aggregate stats on the data, and you can drill down. And so as uh, John Rouser mentioned this morning, um, twice a, oh, I think I'm going to be fine. Everyone got off. They, I'm so captivating, they stopped watching YouTube. Um, and uh, so twice a month, uh, I crawl 200,000 URLs. So it's just hcparchive.org. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on Trends. Oh, now I'm getting on the internet. That's good. OK, let's go back here. Now I'm going to click on Trends. Yeah. And one thing you can see is uh, this is the last year. This is the number of URLs crawled. And you can see that that has increased dramatically. Uh, we've gone up 10x over the last year. Um, and um, so what I'm going to do to try, and the sample set actually uh, dramatically changes the type of stats that you see. So what I'm going to do here is instead of looking at all of the um, stats that are all of the URLs that are available, I'm just going to select the top 1,000. And that is kind of slow. So I'm going to go here where I preloaded it. Yes. And um, so we see across all the runs, you do the top 1,000, and there's a couple that you know, have errors or there's something wrong collecting the data. So we're getting about 980 URLs per one. And we can see here, this is the chart that uh, John showed um, where uh, we're seeing the total size uh, of transfer size in terms of K growing and the total number of requests growing, and the biggest source for that increase is JavaScript, which is really scary because JavaScript is the most painful part of uh, data to download. And then images, it has the highest volume of increase. Um, so this is all kind of interesting stuff to see. Another one I like to do is where, um, here, I'll try to do it live and see. Did this ever come back? No, that never came back. OK. So good, I preloaded stuff. So. Uh, this is one you can click on compare. And so what I did was I looked at the top 1,000 for a year ago and the most recent uh, run just last week. And so we can see um, things like, you can probably see it better than I can. Oh, wait, here, I can go make it brighter. And then my eyes can see it. So we went from about 680K to 870K is the average transfer size for the top 1,000 in one year. It increased, what is that, uh, you know, almost 30%. And we can get, um, and it's interesting because the number of requests actually didn't grow that much. But if we look here, there we go. If we look here, we can see that the average size for each type of request is growing. And that's why we're getting an increase, even though the number of requests is going up a little bit, but the size is going up much higher. And so we can do these side-by-side uh, -side comparisons. The use of Google uh, Libraries API has gone up from 11% to 16%? I can't see what that says. This is a nice one I like to see. The use of Flash has gone down from 50% to 44%. Yay! Um, we had a talk from Typekit yesterday. Uh, the use of custom fonts has gone up 4% to 10%. Um, so, uh, and we can see this one troubles me, is the use of caching headers actually hasn't gone up that much. I'm a minute over. Um, so what else did I want to show? Um, oh, and you can drill down to an individual uh, website. And so you can see we've got the film strip view. I should mention that this is all based on web page test, uh, what Pat was just demoing. And so uh, Pat and I work on this a lot. Um, and he uh, has contributed tremendously to this project. So you can get film strip views uh, for an individual website. You can get um, statistics, trending charts, waterfall charts, a page speed report. So we're doing 200,000 URL, URLs right now, the top 200,000 worldwide. So even if you don't have your own metrics at home, if you're in the top 200,000, uh, we've got metrics for you here. And here's the about page. Uh, you can go here and find the source code, find how to send us 
contact information. We're actually part of the Internet Archive now. We merged in with them. Here are all our sponsors that have helped pay, with, pay for hardware. And there's also a mobile version that we just started about a year, year and a half ago with um, uh, Blaze.io and their MobiTest impl implementation. And now that they open source that code, uh, just in fact last week we spun up some uh, Mobi test agents on web page test itself and did the most recent crawl there. And so we're only doing 2,000 URLs on mobile right now, but we're going to um, start ramping that up as well. So that's httparchive.org. I encourage you to check it out. Thank you. Thank you.